Mm. Yeah. That's really nice. I'm Fred Minnick and I've been covering bourbon since 2006. And in that time, we have seen an incredible change of what we consider to be value bourbon. Now, when I first started in my career, I considered value bourbon to be about 12 bucks. And now those bourbons that used to be $12 are now 25. The bourbons that were 25 are now 40. So every single year, the number of what is considered a value bourbon continues to be going up. Why is that? Well, the demands of everybody wants a sip of bourbon, even right now in a pandemic, and it is growing in popularity unlike any time before. It has been skyrocketing in demand since the year 2000. So, what are the best bourbons under $40? I actually recently just asked my Twitter following this. I said, you've got $40 to spend on bourbon. How are you going to spend it? Go. And these are the things they had to say. Kings County Barrel Strength. Elijah Craig Handle. Uh, 175 of Weller. I don't know where he's going to get that for 40 bucks. Uh, two bottles of Wild Turkey 101. And a Snickers bar. I love that one. Uh, Legion, not bourbon. Or Eagle Rare. Uh, a little hard to find for that amount. Old Granddad 114 or JTS Brown. Old Granddad 114. E.H. Taylor Small Batch. That's going to be hard to get for 40 bucks. Early Times Bottled and Bond. That's a good one. Heaven Hill Six-Year-Old Green Label. Good one, good one. Evan Williams Single Barrel. Good one. Jim Beam Repeal Batch. Underrated, that Jim Beam Repeal Batch. Um, let's see. Can I mug uh, T <laughs> Can I mug a ho hobo for the extra $3 to buy Knob Creek? I don't think we can. We should be you know, encouraging mugging hobos. Uber. Do, 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 do. I can squeeze an Evan Williams bottle and bond and a Russell's 10 in there. That's a good, good call. So as you can see, we have all kinds of great answers in here for what would be a great bourbon for under $40. Now, what would I pick? Fortunately, uh, I've got a lot to choose from, but you're looking at Old Forester, Stonehammer. Stonehammer, this is a private label from Kroger. Uh, you can't really find this much anymore, but it is under $40. It's Cyber Snubble. This is Old Watson's Juice. Very good. You've got you know, Woodford Reserve, JTS Brown, Evan Williams Single Barrel. Knob Creek is borderline $40 in some markets. Bullet. Excellent. Heaven Hill. Wild Turkey. Larceny. Maker's Mark. Buffalo Trace, harder to get at $40 these days, but it's a great one if you can get it. Early Times Bottle and Bond. Four Roses Small Batch. And the bottle that I would choose over all of these is only $15. $12 to $15. I think it is the greatest value in bourbon right now. Not in all of whiskey, but the greatest value in bourbon. And that is Evan Williams Bottle and Bond for $12 to $15. Evan Williams Bottle and Bond is packing so much flavor and deliciousness. I'm gonna pour myself some right now. And here's the thing you need to know about Evan Williams. Evan Williams, this is a brand that's out there all over, it's all over the world. You can find this and it's very, it's fairly inexpensive. I absolutely love the flavor of this product. And although it is less expensive than some of these, you can buy, so if you only have $40 in your pocket, you can buy a whole lot of Evan Williams. In fact, you could buy, given if you're in the right store, you can buy three bottles of Evan Williams. So let's just take a, now this won my uh, best everyday American whiskey last year. Let's see how it holds up this morning. Mm. Yeah. That's really nice. For the money, you cannot beat Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. Only 12 to 15 bucks. You can buy a lot of it for 40. Damn, that's good. I think I'll have this with lunch.